This is normal ECG wave. It has P, Q, R, S, T and sometimes U wave. But we don't deal with this in real life. We deal with this. 12 lead ECG, 6 limb lead and 6 chest lead and they are all different than each other. So how do we label ECG as normal? Let's crack it. Rule number 1. PR interval should be 120 to 200 milliseconds or it should be 3 to 5 small squares. And it must be same in all 12 leads. Rule number 2. The width of the QRS complex should not exceed 110 milliseconds or it should be less than 3 small squares. And this also applies to all 12 leads. Rule number 3. The QRS complex should be dominantly upward in lead 2 and 3 than other limb leads. Rule number 4. QRS complex and T wave both should be in the same direction in all limb leads. If QRS complex is upward then T wave should be upward as well and if QRS complex is downward then T wave should also be downward. Rule number 5. All waves are negatives in lead AVR. Rule number 6. The R wave must increase in size from V1 to at least V4. And S wave must increase from V1 to at least V3 and almost disappears in V6. Rule number 7. The ST segment should not be elevated or depressed, except in V1 and V2 where it may be slightly elevated. Rule number 8. The P wave should be upward in lead 1, 2 and V2 to V6. Rule number 9. There should be no Q wave or only a small Q wave less than 0.04 seconds in width should be present in lead 1, 2 and V2 to V6. Rule number 10. The T wave must be upward in lead 1, 2 and V2 to V6.